Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Star Wars Summer Slash Fall 2023 set review. And this one's on, on Ahsoka Tano's T6 Jedi Shuttle. And also my first Star Wars Ahsoka review, of course. So on the front of the box here we have the LEGO Star Wars logos. And also a similar border that we've been seeing since last year, but now with a teal slash turquoise stripe as to help signify that's from Ahsoka, of course. And of course, updated version of Ahsoka in the corner, signifying that. And then picture of the set in action flying, ab flying above some planet, of course, and all the mini things included. And recommended ages is 9 and up. Set number 75362 has 599 pieces. So now, onto the back box, see? Picture of the Jedi shuttle in a landed position and battle of the minifigs going on and all the features of it. And then. <clears throat> now onto the manual, which, which kind of odd rendering, like which they have been doing since last summer, of course. Then. Advertisement how they're transitioning to paper bags, add for builder app, and on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then advertisement of the other uh, fall uh, sets that there are. And the other three of which expect reviews on quite soon, or as soon as I can get them, of course. Then the last building staff, of course. So now, on to the main things included. First up, we have a whole nother updated version of Ahsoka Tano. Well, first time the uh, Ahsoka Mandoverse version of her. Whereas the torso print leg printing, which all looks quite good, but also lower toe printing uh, as well, of course. And so now the face printing, kind of similar to the version we've had since 2020 for last season Clone Wars, of course, and also which had the side art printings. Nice update to that, since starting to get a little more common in Star Wars sets. And as for the headdress kind of piece, of which all new updated version for that, but however, the, the printing and sculpting of it, really good for how it is. And then next to which we have a Sabine Wren. Uh, which first time outside Star Wars Rebels, and also first time being in a set since about 2015, of course. But however, quite different than how she was in Rebels. Like the torso printing was all quite different, but however, it looks great for that. And of course, have that recent hair piece, but in purple. Trying to see well suited to her. And also, like her previous versions, the classic Clone Trooper blasters thing. And, and of course, you also get a, a green lightsaber, most likely, of which otherwise Ezra's right lightsaber from seasons three and four of Rebels, of course. And also, do get a little helmet, a Mandalorian helmet piece with some new different uh, prints to it. And also, do get, and of course, extra accessories to add on to it like most uh, Mandalorians and uh, clone troopers uh, tend to have, of course. And, and now, uh, all new and first time included is Professor Hu Yang. And, which I see the like headpiece of which, which all the sculpting printing looks great for that. And however, the torso print leg printing kind of similar to that of C-3PO's, of course. Although I kind of, what's kind of weird is, is why exactly in tan and dark tan when on the show looks a bit more silver 
that although I think gray and silver would have been a lot better, but maybe the tan maybe does later in the show, I'm not sure, but whatever. But aside from that, all of which looks quite good, but although in the show he's kind of a more spindly looking character, although I think regular battle droid pieces could have worked out a little better for, for that, but at least this switch kind of works out to all right, but yeah. The last of which is the new Inquisitor, Marok, of course. Which has the for that helmet piece, which well workable in most uh, Knights and Castle themes. So, and of course has that chest plate and a uh, lightsaber hilt as the recent Inquisitors uh, tend to have. And of course, did see this come back last year with Obi-Wan miniseries, of course. And how well... I take that off here. As you see, the torso print like printing all looks very good. And also underneath that helmet piece, just a plain black headpiece. Thanks for that. Maybe it hasn't been revealed as yet, of course. And as for the backside of each of them. Look at that, however, as you can see. That Ahsoka and Sabine do have back face printings, and all of which do have back torso printing, obviously, and kind of an interesting you know, tile piece for Hu Yang, of course. And of course, have all those wires going on him, like C3PO kind of did. But anyway. so as for this minifig selection as a whole, which it all of which quite good for how it is, but yeah. And that is it with the minifigs. to the T6 Jedi shuttle itself, of course. And of course, kind of an interesting ship that we haven't seen remade since 2011, but however, which I'll compare to later in this review, of course. Which, as you can see, for the shaping of which kind of is quite similar to that, to which, but of course, different color scheme and different uh, modern day Lego techniques, of course. front part of which, which as he has that recent uh, canopy kind of piece, but with printings on it, of course. And of course, it's on a couple clips so you can raise it up like so, and also have a lot of space in there, and also a little tile piece as the little control panel over there. And of course, can fit Ahsoka in there. Although you kind of have to do a lean back to it and close it off over her like so, of course. But then lower down, which, as for this back section, which she has quite a little good amount of greebling the details in there, like with the grill piece and so on, and also that little tile has a sticker on it, plus there's quite a few stickers in this set, which of course is very good for that. And of course you can like lift this up, and there's a little bit of storage area. A little storage area. Oh, which is where you can store all the lightsaber in this little section here. And I guess also extra spot for Sabine's helmet, of course. So it all fit nicely well there. And move this wing out of the way, which has a little bit more of greebling and, sn greebling and snot going on. Or maybe just fits just two of the lightsabers. But you, unless you just had the other off to the side, of course. And also do hit 
a little tile piece also with a sticker on it just going invertedly so it can fit in alongside the whole wing part of it of course. And as for the other side of which as you see perfect symmetry to that. And this top part of which you can open right up of course. And this little part of which you, which you can pull right out and it's kind of a little extra thing for Hu Yang with like a little little tile piece on there and oh whoops also a wrench piece in silver of course and as for in that whole section which all tiled up and also along with one little jumper part where you can and attach it onto of course and as for the back side of the ship which has the three cone pieces with the with clear blue dishes on them and also a clear asterisk droid headpiece but well without any printings on it of course and also a couple of things representing the little blasters behind it but as for the wings of the wing section which is kind of similar to the 2011 version of it but instead It has different detailing, but of course with newer standards, and this large part of it is a sticker, not printed, of course. And then leading up to near the cockpit section is a pair of uh, stunt shooter, newer style ones that launch like so, of course. And then as for the bottom part of which, it has this landing gear that can fold right in and Without it, kind of makes it very wobbly. But if you go like outwards and like this, and it does stand up quite well, of course. And as for the bottom part of it, which is doesn't have any access to it, but of course still has some bit of good rebuilding, or I mean slight rebuilding, just plates and tiles, of course. Let me take this away. And so now, for a little comparison. Oh wait, one more thing to show uh, or mention is you can hold it up and swivel it in, and there, there it is in its light mode, oh, which is quite neat for how it is, and bit asymmetry on both sides. All I think, what I think is that maybe all this tiling of which should have been on both sides. And of course, save a little bit of pieces for from any kind of things. Maybe that would have bumped the price point up a bit more. And so now for a little comparison. There's both this and also the previous 2011 version, which as you can see, like this one's just light gray and dark red, but this one's light red and white, of course. But in of course, also to access the uh, cockpits and all, you just gotta pull the canopy piece off, but on this switch, it just clipped on, of course. But this switch has one seat, but the previous version had two seats. So kind of a major difference there. And all and also the launchers of which which the previous one had flip fire missiles, which was a common thing at the time, and did have a little bit of snot going on there. But however, this one of which does have the launchers in the front, of course. And but for the landing gear, this one of which had landing gear that's just on one bit of it and on one hinge but this other one has two hinges for that but whereas for in flight mode oh same thing not at all any detailing underneath the other one so at least a, so maybe it's just not that big a deal of course and also with both sets, so it, 
where the where the previous one had the uh, Republic symbol on a stickered piece for that, but this which doesn't at all have a Republic uh, symbol on there. So since it's post-Republic, of course, and the backside so which as I can see, which has a uh, jet engine pieces and uh, which has comb kind of pieces. So I guess it's kind of downscaling it a bit. Since, of course, it's how most uh, Star Wars sets tend to be nowadays. So I guess that is about it with the comparison. And so now, on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict, that well, I think this is which a quite good set for how it is. Like, of course, first time that this set ever be made since 2011. But and of course, me fake selection, good choices. Like, like obviously, getting a new version of Ahsoka in a kind of cheap set for this show of which, good to see here. And also, getting Fu Yang and Sabine also. Well, Sabine Wren, first time included in the set in quite so long. Great to see here. And also nice, great to have Hu Yang also in a good cheap set as well. But so, of course, in this set, of which also works out as a good parts pack of light gray and dark red, of course. Because although it may have been maybe worth a little bit more than the previous version of it, well, at least it's still kind of, a bit of getting used to with newer Lego standards, but yeah. But and of course, do get some more accessibility into it, like which the previous one didn't. But yeah, and also also has a little bit extras for that. And of course, Maroc also kind of some nice minifig pieces to behold there. And yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set to start your Ahsoka set collection, then or Ahsoka show set collection, definitely pick this up. And if you are looking to get this for your Mandoverse collection and general Lego Star Wars collection, and also for a good set to get Ahsoka and all, get some Ahsoka feel to it, then also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.